So hold on to your shirts because I've got three free keyword tools that are gonna blow your mind. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about some fun, quick keyword research tools that make you see it, it in a whole new light. I'm gonna talk about three of my favorites. They're simple, all three are free, and they all take the same data, but they show it in different ways. So I wanted to kind of give you my top three. These are not the big expensive paid versions. These are free versions that are pulling it directly from Google search results and giving you, uh, giving you that information. The first tool is called Suvel, which is kind of a silly thing. It's S-O-O-V-L-E dot com. So when you come into Suvel, you're going to go in, you can add any phrase here that you want. What this does is it pulls how people are searching for that phrase in Google, on Amazon, Yahoo, Bing, in YouTube, Answers.com, as well as Wikipedia. So you're getting a very interesting pull from all different sites, not just from Google, which is important that we see the, the full picture of a, word, of a keyword. So when you put in a keyword phrase, you're not just a, an expert on that phrase, you're expert in what circles around it, what's related to it, what's not related to it. So it's important to understand that there is a heartbeat behind every keyword. There's going to be unique elements that every keyword phrase or keyword singular will have. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put in, let's just do something easy like cats. So here you'll see that every single site on Amazon, it's Cat's Cradle. On Google, it's Cat's Movie. On Wikipedia, it's Cat's the Musical. And then we have here um, all different kinds of variations and different ways of looking at that same exact keyword. Now you can go in here and you can add any of these different ones that you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Let's Do Dogs now. Okay, so on, on, on Amazon, it's Dog Accessories. On Yahoo, Dog for Sale which is interesting, dogs for sale. Um, cute dogs is also on, on uh, uh, Yahoo. YouTube is dogs barking. That's interesting. I guess people want to see crazy dogs and they're barking. Then the next one on YouTube is dogs howling, dogs playing, and dogs crying. Interesting. And then of course on Wikipedia, we just have dogs. Oh, interesting, dogs in warfare is another element that's being searched in Wikipedia. So you have to really think about all the different ways in which you can talk about any topic just by what you put in here. So that's Suvel, S-O-O-V-L-E dot com. The next one I want to show you is a tool called Keyword Singular, Keyword dot I-O. This is a tool, again, free, and you can come in here and pull keyword data from YouTube, Amazon, Bing, Wikipedia, eBay, Alibaba, the Google Play Store, Fiverr, Photo, um, Fo Photolia, and of course, Questions. So I'm gonna come in here and put dog, and let's see what we get. Okay, so here you'll see that we're getting all different kinds of search results from those different sites. You'll see a dog, a dog's journey. So clearly people are looking for that. Dog's purpose, Australian cattle dog. So what's interesting is when you look at these, you can see like what are people actually thinking that surrounds the word dog? I mean, look at this, barking dog, best dog breeds, best dog food, best dogs for kids, best dog names. So it's so interesting, like all the ways in which you can tap in to what somebody's thinking about one specific topic. That's how you show up as a real thought leader around any given topic, is understanding what is the current pulse of that keyword. What's trending, so a movie would be an element that's trending. Um, what to call a dog is something probably everyone's gonna search for for a long time. Best dog for kids, another thing everyone's gonna search for a long time. So understanding the nuances in a keyword, especially using a tool like this, is just really fantastic. Now if you really wanna go nuts, we'll go back to one of the tools that I talk about a lot called Answer the Public. Now answerthepublic.com has this crazy guy in the sweater, so don't let that scare you away. So you come in here and you're gonna put I can put, let's see, dog gifts. I'm gonna hit get questions. Now the interesting thing about this tool is that it pulls questions from search results as well as prepositions, comparisons, and A to Z. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna come down here. Let's try a different keyword. That's not giving us a lot of good data. Let's try something a little different. Let's try something like gardening. Now this tool specifically is better when you put in a shorter phrase rather than a longer phrase. It'll give you more suggestions. 
Okay, there he goes. Oh, look at that. Bang. Okay, don't let this intimidate you. So what you're seeing is gardening and then all the different elements around it. So we have the who, what, where, why, when of gardening. And you'll see here we've got what gardening zones in New Jersey, what gardening zone in Michigan. So you see everyone based on where they're located. Then we come over here, which gardening magazine, which, what, which gardening gloves, which gardening guide. So you're getting all these different ways that people are thinking about gardening. Um, one of our clients is Kellogg um, Garden Products and they sell fertilizer. Hmm, great, I get to advertise fertilizer. No, what they decided is that they weren't just a fertilizer company, they were a planting and flower lifestyle company. So that their, their fertilizer, when you put it in the soil, um, is, makes your gardens bloom and grow beautifully. So what we have to think about is, if we're gonna get them findable for all things gardening, then we have to be able to use the keywords that are showing up here uh, and make sure that we're talking about what's currently in play. So the cool thing about these images is you can download them just as the image, hang them up on the wall because they look really pretty. Or you can come in here and just put download CSV. And now you're going to get the boring Excel spreadsheet with all of the keywords, all the search data, so that you can start to really focus your content development strategy. Boy, I tell you, when you look at these, look at these. Look, this is the comparisons one. Then we come down here. Gardening versus landscaping. Then we come down farther, and this is what we call the um, alphabetical connection. So you have gardening advice, gardening apron, garden, gardening apprentices, right? The word gardening with A, then gardening with B, gardening with C. So it'll give you everything you ever wanted to know about what people apply to with their searches. So as you scroll down, you're gonna see questions, prepositions, comparisons, and finally the A to Z. Anyone a puts anything after the word gardening with an A, you're gonna get that entire list, like advice and aprons and accessories and apps and um, aids and camping. You're getting all the things they offer after that. So here's the, the trifecta of keyword research is Suval, check it out, keyword.io, and answer the public. These are three of my favorites. They're all free and they're waiting for you to go find your perfect keyword. How did you like my keyword tools? Pretty awesome, right? Well, I absolutely love nerding out on tools, especially if they're free tools. But ultimately, I wanna help move the needle for your business. Sign up for a findability review. We'll get on the phone, we'll open up the website, we'll take a look at how you rank and ways in which you can quickly improve your findability online. Go to findability.com and sign up for a findability review today. And we'll see you at the top of search results very soon.